Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing more Spyro the Dragon. Now, I accidentally, like, well, I didn't accidentally do anything. My recording equipment messed up, and the sound cut out. And sometimes on Rayman, the sound cuts out of the game, not the equipment. So I thought the game messed up, so I just had to like restart the whole video I found out it was the equipment not the game I'm sure the sound would have still been coming through on the equipment because it always does when that happens but anyways let's just go back to what we were doing I made sure getting back to where I was I had all the same stuff so anyways that bandit ran down there and in the third game, the bandits are actually important to the story, but in this one, they're just a minor annoyance stealing your eggs. Anyways, this is a, another unique container. You think it's metal, so you can't flame it. But here, you can't charge it either, so what you actually have to do is flame it to get this thing spinning spinning enough that it breaks it. And now here's our last dragon here. Thank you for releasing me. Since his name is Thor, I would say, you know, maybe he's a thunder dragon, but he sounds way too much of, he sounds like way too much of a wimp to be Thor. Ah, oh, and since I had to restart the game, these enemies are back. Ugh. And that guy just jumps way back up there. But one thing you want to do with these... With these bandits when you're chasing them is... Uh, you want to... When you're trying to ram into them, you want to cut some corners to try to gain some ground on them. Whoa, I, I missed there. Alright, so there's our eggs. So this level should be done. Yes, it is. Alright. Yeah, one thing you may have noticed if you have a good eye, there's any gems that you break their containers, but you don't collect them. Ooh, more KFC! Yeah, any gems that are in containers that you break, but you don't collect the gems inside, if you end up having to turn the game off, and then you come back, or if you leave the level and come back, they'll be back in their containers, so... Which isn't really that big of a thing, but... Oh, maybe if I have... Maybe if I ever have this problem again, you'll catch something there. <laughs> Anyways, so... Now, we'll take a look at our inventory screen, and you'll notice that in these worlds, the the first level in each world is pretty much always the hub, and then next is the three main levels, and then the boss level, and then a special kind of level, which the special kind of level is the thing we unlock at the waterfall there, but we're not supposed to know about that yet, so I'm not gonna go there for a while, even though I could just go there now, since I know the secret and everything. Also, the dragon mouth opens, because we've completed a level, and if you actually replay this dragon here, he says something a little different. Oh, Flash, do that again! The artisan's boss is through a portal behind me. You can challenge him now, if you feel you are ready. So yeah, sometimes they do change their message, which is kind of neat, but most people wouldn't notice it, because, like, who replays the dragons, honestly? Anyways, so now instead of entering whatever level, it says confronting Toasty, because that's the boss. Yay, and I made it to this level without the sound cutting out. Cause that's right where it cut out last time. Yeah, okay, these dogs, you gotta attack twice, or else they will pound you. And the, 
these dogs are really annoying. You don't want to get dog town. Yeah, they just jump right over you and just smash you down. If you're ready for them, though, like, if you know how they work, they're no problem, but... If you're just going around thinking, oh yeah, everything takes one hit, and then you attack the dog and then ignore him, they'll just pound you, and it's not gonna be nice. <laughs> ah! There I was trying to attack him a second time, but Spyro wasn't ready to flame again. So yeah, you also gotta make sure that your character will actually be ready to attack again, too. Also, you'll find that in this boss level here, there's not too much to collect. There's 100 gems and one dragon, and the dragon's right there before the boss. This boss is actually a pretty funny boss, though. I mean, just wait till you see him. So, here we've got the dragon. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. This boss has many tricks up his sleeve. One of his most devious henchmen, please. Many tricks up his sleeve, you'll get that in a second. It's this weird guy here. So we're just gonna get this dog, get him out of the way. And then flame him. Look, it's a sheep inside on stilts. What the heck? Yeah, the sheep are really funny in this game. I think that I think it's funny how they turned one into a boss. Well, it just burned off the clothes there. Now it can't attack you with this, but it can still kick you with its stilts. Ah! Yeah, these dogs can be really annoying. Also, how Sparks gathers treasure for you. If you're on your last hit where you don't have sparks, you'll actually have to touch the treasure because he won't be there to collect it for you. So, really easy boss done. And level done. That's all there is to it. And aside from the secret level we're not supposed to know about yet, we're done with this world, so I'm just gonna move on. And I want this sheep! Ugh! This toasty sheep. Those norks are pathetic. They just look at you and they're all scared. They're not even doing anything. So... Well done, Spyro. I didn't think you could do it. You, know, you might travel to the Peacekeeper's world if you like. So, done with the artisans, going to the Peacekeeper's. So, if I remember, yeah, this world is going to be more of a desert world. You know, going all Mario style, because, you know, of course in Mario, all the second world always has to be the desert world. And you'll notice the bases are a little different to like, just because it's a different world, making it look a little different. Welcome to Peacekeeper, Spyro. Look how our treasure has been turned against us and stolen. Recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. Got it. No, really? Um. I'm not sure if those guys have metal on or if they're just wearing white. I guess I'll find out. They're just wearing white. That guy was gonna use that cannon, so it's a good thing we got him while we did. So we can't go that way right now. 
Now the thing is, now we can actually use the cannon if we turn it here and then flame it. And it has a slight amount of homing just so that it's easier on you. Dry Canyon. Now here, there's these tents up here. And they actually go hide in these tents, and then you can just burn the tents down and get them. It's kind of weird that this is like peacekeepers world and there's all this war stuff going on I guess that's kind of the symbolism of what happened once nasty Nork started taking over Aw, oh, you see what he just did man <sighs> you're not getting in there no way Okay, here's another unique container over here. You can't destroy these with any of your moves. So you'll have to do something like shoot it with a cannon. And, you know, you can destroy other harder to destroy containers with the cannons and stuff like that, too. But... I mean, you don't need to. Now, if we go over here, we got a dragon, and the balloonist guy's over here. Hi, Spyro! Sparks the Dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. That dragon's name was Mag Magnus, I think. It's like Magnus Von Grapple. Paper Mario 2. Except no relation, of course. <laughs> now the ice cavern. You don't expect to see an ice cavern level in a desert world, but there is one. Now that is the boss. It's open to you right away. Yeah, Dr. Shump. So... Okay. If we go over here on the platform we destroyed, we can climb up here, and this is actually that secret type of level, like that special type of level that's in all these worlds. All of the special types of levels are flying levels, and we'll get to that later. I'll usually play the flying levels just before fighting the boss. And I always will free a dragon, and... We might well have to... done, Spyro! Keep up the good work, and I know you'll fulfill your destiny! Destiny? I just want to kick some- Just toast those enemies and collect <laughs> the treasure! <laughs> wow, I, I forgot about that. Good thing he cut Spyro off there. We got a key we missed. And a bandit. Come on, I want to get this before the video's done. There we go. And I got the key without having the cutscene, because I got hurt. So, that's about it for this video. Um, guess I'll see you next time. Alright, bye.